God promises to restore. Golden verse, the Lord says, I will give you back what you lost to the swarming locusts, the hopping locusts, the stripping locusts, and the cutting locusts, Joel 2.25. Bible text, Joel 2 colon 28.32. 28 and afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people, your sons and daughters will prophesy, your old men will dream dreams, your young men will see visions. 29 Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. 30 I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth blood and fire and billows of smoke. 31 The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. 32 And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved for on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem. There will be deliverance, as the Lord has said, even among the survivors, whom the Lord calls. Ames 1. What do we mean by the word years that locust has eaten? 2. When do you need restoration? 3. How God can restore your lost locust year God is a God of restoration and no matter how difficult our circumstances may be, we should never lose our trust that he wants to restore all things. God promises to restore us. I will restore them because of my compassion. Zechariah 10-6 and I have seen their ways, but I will heal them I will guide them and restore. God can restore you. He can take what's wrong in your life and make it right. God can restore the world. He can take what's wrong in the world and make it right. Check out what God says in Joel 2.25, So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten locusts had invaded and ruined years of crops. The fields of the farmers were in seeming disrepair. God promises not only to return the land to its original condition but also to renew what got lost during the wasted years. God's people had suffered the complete destruction of their entire harvest through swarms of locusts that marched like an insect army through the fields, destroying the crops, multiplying their number as they went. For four consecutive years, the harvest was completely wiped out. God's people were brought to their knees in more ways than one. But the Lord became jealous for his land and had pity on his people. God said, Behold I am sending to you grain, wine and oil, and you will be satisfied. Joel 2 colon 18 19. In the coming years, God said, their fields would yield an abundance that I would make up for what had been lost. The threshing floor shall be full of grain the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. Dot. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. Joel 2:24, 26. This wonderful promise for those people meant that years of abundant harvests would follow the years of desolation brought about by the locusts. But God has also put this promise in the Bible for us today. What do we mean by word the years that locust has eaten? It means lost years of our lives or years that you can't get back, and they come in many varieties. Lost years of fruitless years. A lot of hard work was done in the years the locusts had eaten. After everything was destroyed, the people must have thought, all this work and what do I have to show for it? Some of you know this pain in the world of busyness or a failed venture, a bad investment lost years are painful years. You had plans for the future, but now you fear the coming years may be empty. Lost years are loveless years, a division comes to a family, alienating loved ones. Children grow up and those years cannot be recovered. A marriage quietly endures in which love has been burning low for many years. Lost years are misdirected years. The path you chose in your career or at college was a dead end. You just didn't fit. Often in your mind, and sometimes in your conversation, you say, how did I end up here? If only, dot. If only I had made that move, dot. If only I had taken that opportunity. Dot. 
If only I had chosen a different path. But the moment has passed. It's gone. You can't go back to it. You're left with locust years. Lost years are Christless years. All Christless years are locust years. This point is worth thinking about if you have not yet made a commitment to Christ. Ask anyone who came to faith in Christ later in life, and they will tell you that they wish they'd come to Christ sooner than they did. When do you need restoration? 1. When you are dry in your spirit. 2. When your prayer life is down. 3. When the things of the spirit do not interest you anymore. 4. When you are discouraged due to persecution. 5. When you have bad dreams and sickness. 6. When you are afraid. 7. When you have lost the ministry and God's call. 8. When you are defeated in life. 9. When you have backslidden. 10. When you are cast out. God can restore your lost, locust years in three ways. 1. God can restore lost years by deepening your communion with Christ. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God. Joel 2.27 These people, who have endured so much, enjoy a communion with the Lord that is far greater than anything they had ever known before in their religious lives. Christ can restore lost years by deepening your fellowship with him. To accomplish this, God promises to pour out his Holy Spirit not on just a few, but on all who will call on him and seek his mercy. Joel 2 colon 28 29 2. God can restore lost years by multiplying your fruitfulness. The harvests for these people had been wiped out for four years, but God restored the years that the locusts had eaten by giving bumper harvests. 3. God can restore lost years by bringing long-term gain from short-term loss. The effect of these great trials in your life will be that the tested genuineness of your faith. May result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 1 to 7. The praise, glory, and honor go to Christ because his power guarded you and kept you through the hardest years of your life. 4. God uses his restoring agents such as the Holy Spirit, the Word of God, fellow men and elements of nature to restore us when we need restoration. Conclusion Are you needing restoration in your scorched place? He promises to guide you, satisfy your desire, and give you strength. God can bring restoration and refreshment when you come to him with a sincere heart. God will never end a chapter of your life without a positive resolve. If things are not right and well, keep going because the best is yet to come. He always keeps his promises and God, your God, will restore everything you lost. Deuteronomy 30-3 Look at the story of Job and how he journeyed through loss. He suffered much, but in the end, all was well. Job's 42 hours 12 minutes tells us that his latter days were more blessed than his beginning. I love the way Job 8-7 in the Good News translation says it, all the wealth you lost will be nothing compared with what God will give you then. God knows everything you lost or had to give up for his namesake. He has not forgotten you. God will restore everything you lost and repay you accordingly at the appointed time. All you have to do is survive the famine and trust the king to restore and re-establish you. In the face of chaos, remember, Christ has authority over Satan. We can have many needs for restoration relationships, health, finances, or even our own hearts. Remind yourself that he knows you intimately and what you need.